Alright, so what's up everybody? Off a ride. Today I want to talk about Harley Davidson. By now, people that watch my videos or know me personally know I ride Harleys. It's what I've always ridden, and for the most part, it's everything I'm going to ride. Well, I have been looking at sport bikes, and I've said that before. I'm not looking for the leader bike or nothing. I wouldn't mind having just like an R6 or a 636. Like I said that before too. Anyways, so. Something else that I've said before is that I do watch a lot of motor vloggers. And for one, the most common things watching these motor motor vloggers is they bash Harley Davidson. And I think it's, it has to do with some people who still have the mindset of this is the 70s and 80s where Harleys were shit. Let me get some gas real quick. This isn't the 70s or 80s. Harley isn't built like it used to be. Yeah, of course they still have their problems, but I'm gonna tell you right now, every bike has a problem. You can always get one that's just uh, not that great. It has stupid little problems. You know, and then people say that the only people that ride Harleys are big old fat guys shit like that or really rich guys that need something in their lives and that's just simply not the case I mean yeah it happens but fuck I know stupid retarded fat guys that ride fucking sport bikes all the time they shouldn't but they do I don't know it's just a stereotype that really shouldn't be out there anymore Light's taking forever. Do some Harleys have problems? Absolutely they do. And I'll be the first one to admit it, like mine right now. Uh, it's just a design that I don't think is good is the master cylinder. Specifically, the rear master cylinder for my Harley or Davidson right now. The body is made out of fucking plastic. I mean, the pistons and the o rings and everything that makes it work are actually pretty good, great. But the body is made out of plastic. And my master cylinder, I mean, basically, I barely have back brakes right now because. The inside of the body where the piston runs, no rings fit, there are scratches in the plastic. 
and it leaks. It leaks like crazy. So I went up one day, and this is before I knew about it, and I bought a, I bought a rebuild kit. I, could just, I figured this no ring was bad. I need a rebuild kit. I took it apart and tried to match it up with some O-rings, and I couldn't do it. So I went to Harley, and I just bought the whole damn kit, 60 fucking dollars. In the midst of me putting it together, I was really inspecting the body, the housing that the piston slides into or the O-rings ride, and I noticed all the fucking scratches inside of it. And not little bitty scratches. These are like pretty good sized gouges. So basically, anytime you push on this master cylinder, put pressure on it, it squeezes right through those cracks over the O-ring and leaks out. And now it's bad enough that it just it leaks out on my garage floor. And I believe a new master cylinder for this particular bike is like 200, 250 bucks for the same fucking thing. Another plastic one, and I won't do that. I want something that I know is going to be good, it's going to last, I'm not going to have any worries or problems with it. I don't know. Just kind of getting tired of the whole stereotype of Harley Davidson. It, it does irritate me that some of the things people say about them. Like I said, it, I mean, it's just like cars. You have Chevy guys, Ford guys, Dodge guys, foreign guys, whatever. Everybody has their taste. But every brand has lemons. Not everything is the best. Not everything is perfect. I do have another problem with this bike, and I'm not sure if I have mentioned that yet or not, but I have a weird shake in the front end when I hold on with one hand. I love riding with one hand. And of course now it's not going to do it. Yeah, there it is, a little bit. Y'all might not be able to see it. I don't know what's causing it. I've checked every bolt, every nut, everything is tight. My Springer front end is tight. I've had the wheel off, I've checked the bearing. The wheel bearing's good. And it hadn't always done this, it just started it. You know, maybe a month and a half ago. Just weird. I haven't hit anything. I haven't put the bike down. Nothing. You know what? I love this bike. It took me... I mean, I've, I've owned... I've owned so many different types of bikes, it's not funny. And I've owned several Harleys. Then I finally found this one. I wanted one of these for a really long time, and it's just hard to harder to find this for some reason. And I walked into Blue Springs Harley Davidson, and some of a bitch I didn't plan on buying one, but some of a bitch if that bike, this bike wasn't just sitting there. And I said, I'll take that, and you can have mine. And this would be a bike that I keep. I won't ever get rid of this one. Will I buy another one? Absolutely. And like I said, you know, I've been looking at sport bikes too. I wouldn't mind having a sport bike. Go tool around and have fun on. Because they're fun. But this bike is fun. Everybody's like, well, it's slow. Well, yeah, I mean, I can't get no 150, 160 miles an hour out of this bike, but... I've had that son bitch pegged at 120. I don't know how fast I actually was going. And it gets to 100 miles an hour super fast. There ain't no fucking around. This bike has got a shit ton of low end torque. I mean, it's I leave sport bikes at the start line. And by the time I get to 100, they're, they're there. But...
like I said, this bike, it suits me perfectly. Ugh, fucking railroad tracks. Oh shit. Like I said, I'm just irritated with the whole uh, Fashion Harley thing right now. And yes, you know, if you roll up into a meet or go to a, your local biker bar, a lot of guys, most of them are riding Harleys. Most of them uh, uh, are big and hairy, got long ass beards, fat as hell, out of shape. Just how it is. Nothing wrong with it, it just that's the crowd Harley Davidson attracts. Most of your MCs and stuff ride Harleys. The only thing I ask people is keep an open mind. Just because you don't like it don't mean somebody else doesn't, you know? Don't hate on other people just because they don't do what you do. Well, anyways, I thought I'd get that off my chest, so. I think I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and get, get on done with this one and move on to the next one. So I'll catch you later.